Hello, my little tiny humans. My heart is so happy. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying these books being read to you. I miss you guys so much. And here's another one for you, Alligator Baby. This is one of my favorites also. I have a lot of favorites, but this one's kind of funny. So here we go. So one night, Kristen's mother woke up and yelled, a baby, a baby, I'm having a baby. Kristen's father jumped up, zoomed around the room, got dressed, grabbed Kristen's mother by the hand, and they ran downstairs to the car and drove really fast. Vroom. Unfortunately, they got lost. They didn't go to the hospital. They went to the zoo. But it was okay. Kristen's mom had a lovely baby. Then they drove home and knocked on their front door. Blam, 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 blam. Kristen opened the door and there was her mother holding something all wrapped up. Kristen, she said, would you like to meet your new baby brother? Oh yes, said Kristen. So Kristen lifted up the bottom of the blanket. She saw a long green tail and she said, that's not a people tail. Kristen lifted up the middle of the blanket and saw a green claw and said, that's not a people claw. A long, and she lifted up the top of the blanket and she saw a long green face with lots of teeth and she said, that's not a people face. That is not my baby brother. Now Kristen said her mother, don't be so jealous. Mm. Just then, the baby reached up and bit Kristen's mom on the nose and she yelled, ah! Then the baby reached up and bit her dad on the nose and he yelled, Arr! That's not a people baby, said Kristen. That's an alligator baby. Goodness, said her mother. We've got the wrong baby. Hmm, I wonder where her brother is. So Kristen put the alligator baby to the fish tank and her mother and father drove back to the zoo. They came back in an hour and knocked on the door again. Bam, 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 bam. Kristen opened the door and her mother said, would you like to see your new baby brother? <gasps> yes, said Kristen. I'm wondering why Kristen's at home alone and why she's answering the door. Kristen lifted up the bottom of the blanket and she saw a fishy tail and she said, that's not a people tail. Kristen lifted up the middle of the blanket. She saw a flipper and she said, that's not a people flipper. Then Kristen lifted up the top of the blanket and she saw a face with whiskers and said, that's not a people face. That is not my baby brother. Now Kristen said her mom, don't be so jealous. Hmm. Just then, the baby reached up with his flipper and he flapped her dad's face. Whap, 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 whap. And he yelled, ah, ah, it's a seal baby. We've got the wrong baby. So Kristen put the seal baby in the bathtub and her mom and dad drove back to the zoo. They came back in an hour and they knocked on the door again. Bim, 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 bim. They said, Kristen, would you like to see your new baby brother? <gasps> yes, said Kristen. And she lifted up the bottom of the blanket. And she saw a very hairy leg. And she said, it's not a people leg. And she lifted up the middle of the blanket. And she saw a hairy arm. And she said, that's not a people arm. And she lifted up the top of the blanket. And she saw a very hairy face. What do you think she said? That's not a people face. That is not my baby brother. Now Kristen said her mom again, don't be so jealous. Then the baby reached up with its feet and grabbed her mother's ear and her father's ear and they both yelled at the same time, oh, it's a gorilla baby. We've got the wrong baby. Let me do it, said Kristen. 
So her mom and dad put the gorilla baby on the chandelier in the living room and Kristen went off to the zoo on her bicycle. First, Kristen looked into the snake cage. No people babies. Then Kristen looked into the wombat cage. No people babies. Then Kristen looked in the elephant cage. No people babies. Then she stopped and listened. From far away, she could hear, wah, wah, wah. That's more like it, said Kristen. And she followed the sound. It was coming from the gorilla cage. Kristen looked at the mommy gorilla and she said, give me back my baby brother. The gorilla jumped away and would not give the baby back at all. Oh, she loved the baby. Then the people baby reached up and bit the gorilla on the nose. And the gorilla yelled, ah, and handed the baby right to Kristen. Kristen jumped up on her bicycle and she pedaled home. Kristen knocked on the door, bam, 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 bam. And when her parents opened it up, she said, would you like to see the new baby? Kristen's mother lifted up the bottom of the blanket and said, look, it's people legs. She lifted up the middle of the blanket and she said, oh, look, it's people hands. And she lifted up the top of the blanket and she said, look, it's a people face. Kristen's mother picked up the baby and gave it a big hug. Her father took the baby and gave it a big hug. And her mother said, Kristen, Kristen, you got the baby back. Good for you. But what are we going to do with all these other babies, yelled Kristen's dad. There's a seal baby in the bathtub, an alligator baby in the fish tank, a gorilla baby hanging from the chandelier. We should take him back to the zoo. But Kristen looked out the window and she said, I don't think we'll have to do anything at all. Look at all the baby mamas. They want their babies. And everything was okay until Kristen's mom had twins. I hope you enjoyed that book. It's by Robert Munch. That's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.